Hello everyone, my name is May Baidun and I am a staff scientist at the National Institute on Aging, Intramural Research Program, Laboratory of Epidemiology and Population Sciences. My background is in epidemiology with special interest in nutrition and, and cognitive aging, as well as in social epidemiology. So I would like to present today our paper recently published in Aging US Journal, volume 14, issue number 13. Uh, entitled Epidem Epigenetic Clocks and Their Association with Trajectories in Perceived Discrimination and Depressive Symptoms Among U.S. Middle-Aged and Older Adults. Uh, epigenetics impacts gene expression, genome integrity, and normal cell function through heritable changes that are independent of uh, DNA sequence uh, modifications such as mutations. DNA methylation is the most understood epigenetic mechanism and occurs through addition of a methyl group to a CPG island site in DNA. Hypermethylation generally triggers gene expression silencing, while the reverse is true for hypomethylation. Epigenetic alterations that are age-related are summarized in this figure that you see here. Uh, DNA methylation is only one, of par one part of the puzzle and age is associated with local specific hypermethylation, but also with global hypomethylation. DNA methylation is also a mechanism by which exposure to adverse life circumstances and environments is linked to health outcomes related to aging. Epigenetic clocks derived from DNA methylation are mathematical models reflecting human cell, tissue, and organ aging, which uh, uh, while being highly correlated with age across the lifespan and to increased age-related chronic disease and all-cause mortality risk. These clocks combine information for a small number of CPG islands, about 100 to 500, to produce indicators of aging. Methylation clocks are estimated in epigenetic years with the rationale that ticks of the clock represent aging. The Horvath and Hanum epigenetic clocks are well-established epigenetic age algorithm, whereby DNA methylation can be utilized to estimate biological aging at the cellular level. Since then, a number of other researchers have identified epigenetic clocks based on different gen genomic methylation changes that are related to age or health outcomes uh, linked to age. However, few epidemiological studies have directly linked epigenetic clocks to uh, or DNA methylation for the ma that matter to ma uh, major depressive symptoms. And only two studies have directly or indirectly examined its association with elevated depressive symptoms in general. So this figure shows the epigenetic clocks used in our present study. The number of CPG sites are used to generate those clocks using mathematical models and which phenotypes were used to generate them. Uh, as well as which other outcomes uh, they are related to. For, for instance, the Hanum clock is famous for its predictive ab ability for Alzheimer's disease and cognitive aging in general, whereas DNA Grimage was generated to predict all-cause mortality. Methylation pace of aging clock uh, similarly uses several biological, uh, biochemical, hematological, and clinical markers, uh, but examined them longitudinally and for different age groups, as opposed to other clocks such as the Levine Pino age clock. So this figure lists some of the risk factors for accelerating aging and those for decelerating aging. Stress is one key factor that leads to the accelerated aging phenotype. And in our present study, we consider perceived discrimination as an important type of chronic stressor. In our current study, we used data from the health and retirement study, a subset of which was collected venous blood samples on respondents in 2016. These samples were analyzed and 13 epigenetic clocks were derived using machine learning techniques. We generated two measures of perceived discrimination between the years 2010, 2016, uh, that we call experience of discrimination based on commonly used scale and reasons for perceived discrimination, which was less commonly used, but reflects number of reasons for which a person feels discriminated against up to 11 reasons. Race and ethnicity are two separate reasons in this scale. Uh, depressive symptoms were measured using the eight item CESD score, which is uh, a very short form of the 20 item CSD uh, across uh, several waves of data. 
Epigenetic clocks were only available in 2016 on around 4,000 participants aged 50 years or older, which constituted the limiting step for participant selection. The study objective uh, can be summarized by this figure, with the key objective being to examine the mediating and potentially moderating effect of depressive symptoms and the potential association between uh, perceived discrimination and DNA methylation epigenetic aging. So this participant flow chart shows how we went from all respondents throughout the years in HRS since 1992 to the final sample passing through the venous blood study sample that generated the epigenetic clocks. The final sample consisted of 2,806 individuals. This scatter plot shows how each of the 13 epigenetic clocks correlated with each other and with chronological age. The correlation is a positive one as expected for 12 of the 13 clocks, whereas a one clock named the Buckland clock is inversely related to the other measures. So it is hypothesized that greater degree of discrimination would result in higher epigenetic aging uh, or a positive relationship with 12 of the 13 clocks and an inverse one with the Buckland clock. Uh, adjusting for chronological age and other factors. We conducted many types of analysis in the study, including examining trajectories of EOD, RPD, and CSD, and how they rela related individually to the 13 clocks. Using group-based trajectory models, we uncovered two common groups for the experience of discrimination score, whereas for reasons for perceived discrimination and the CSD depressive symptom score, uh, three groups were chosen reflecting high, medium, and low levels of discrimination and depressive symptoms. Our descriptive findings indicated that both point and trajectory exposures were patterned by sex and race ethnicity, as shown in this table, with greater likelihood of depressive symptoms and elevated scores on extent of and reasons for perceived discrimination observed among females and among non-white individuals. Seven of the 13 epigenetic clocks indicated greater epigenetic age among males, and for a few clocks, epigenetic age was lower among non-white adults. Those included Horvath, Horvath II, Devine, and Hanum clocks. Upon adjustment for chronological age, other findings were uncovered in terms of differences in epigenetic age by sex and by race ethnicity. So now we come to our main uh, study findings. So what we found is that among females, Sustained elevated depressive symptoms between 2010 and 2016 was associated with greater biological age based on the DNA methylation, the Lynn clock. And this, the beta coefficient is positive, the p-value is 0.009. This is based on the reduced model. And these patterns were observed for elevated depressive symptoms, high versus low for Grimage and MPOA DNA uh, methylation markers in the overall sample as well. Uh, this is based on our results from group-based trajectory models, which cluster depressive symptoms into high, medium, and low, and were then used to predict the 13 epigenetic clocks measured in 2016. So those results are shown in Table 2 and Supplementary Table 2. Another key finding is that overall, and mostly among females, uh, non-Hispanic white participants, Greater reasons for perceived discrimination in 2010-2012 had a significant adverse total effect on epigenetic aging, and this is based on the DNA Grimage, MPOA, and the Levine Pheno age, as well as the Horvath 2 clocks, so four clocks. Uh, and the, we also found that 20 and to 50% of this effect was being explained by a pure indirect effect through depressive symptoms in 2014-2016. This result is based on the four-way decomposition model, which divided up the total effect of perceived discrimination into control direct effect, interaction referent, mediated interaction, and pure indirect effect, which is also known as pure mediation. The detailed results are shown in supplementary table four of the manuscript, portraying findings in the minimally adjusted models. Those models controlled for chronological age, sex, birth cohort, and race ethnicity. We also found that overall and in white adults, the relationship of the Levine or pheno, pheno age clock with perceived discrimination in general, both EOD and RPD, was mediated through elevated depressive symptoms. Uh, these are also uh, four-way decomposition model findings from table three and four showing fully adjusted models and supplementary table three and four showing results from minimally adjusted models. So here we give examples from the overall population 
uh, findings focusing mainly on the pure indirect effect. It is worth noting that in most cases, the total effect was not statistically significant with the exception of RPD for non-Hispanic white adults and the minimally adjusted model as shown in supplementary table four. So to validate our findings from four-way decomposition models, we also carried out structural equation modeling, which are shown here. Figure three is actually showcased on the current issue of aging US. Uh, SEM models were used to decompose the total effect of perceived discrimination on epigenetic clocks through depressive symptoms into direct and indirect effects. So in this case, we'd had only two-way decomposition. The red portions of the, of the graphics represent statistically significant indirect effect, while the light blue represents sig significant direct effects. The two stars represent a significant total effect. Uh, and our SEM analysis shown here, so we found that overall, and based on a minimally adjusted model, the total effect of experience of discrimination on the epigenetic clocks was largely null, with the exception of the Buckland clock, which indicated a positive and largely direct effect, um, reflecting reduced biological age with perceived discrimination. And this is kind of a surprise. We were not expecting to find this. And it's not mediated through CSD score because it's the direct effect that's significant. And contrast for the reasons for perceived discrimination, the total effect was statistically significant in the case of uh, the methylation pace of aging clock and the DNA grimage, which was significantly mediated through the depressive symptoms uh, CSD total score. These latter findings for MPOA and DNA grimage are in line with our four-way decomposition models. So here we list some of the study, uh, study limitations, and those include selection bias, non-differential misclassification of predictors, uh, residual confounding, and also inclusion of some predictors that may or may not be relevant to biological aging. In light of these limitations listed here, we concluded that sustained elevation in depressive symptoms and reasons for perceived discrimination were associated with select measures of epigenetic aging consistently among women and among uh, non-Hispanic white adults. Furthermore, what we, we found that depressive symptoms acted as a potential mediator and the reasons for perceived discrimination epigenetic clock association for a number of blocks, including DNA methylation grimage, which is as we said, in, uh, predicts uh, or cause mortality, and also a methylation pace of aging clock. I will end my presentation by acknowledging uh, NIA and IHIRP for supporting this work, and all uh, HRS participant staff and investigators, as well as NIA internal reviewers. I also include some declaration of interests here. I would like to thank Aging US Journal for inviting me to present my work. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.